just got this HQST 100 amp hour lithium battery and I'm just going to unbox it. There's not much information out there about it right now, just a couple of reviews on Amazon. Kind of rolled the dice spraying for this, so and maybe this can help you decide if you want to roll the dice on this as well. Hopefully soon I'll be getting a in-use review out to you. Until then, here it is. So this packing seems pretty, pretty legit. It was shipped from Ontario, California. It's a box within a box. So far so good. And unlike a sealed lead acid or or gel battery. This can be in any position. So for my next camping trip, this is going in. Uh, this will be going in the trailer. Supply the house power. All right, this, this is rad. This is really, really nice packaging, actually. If you're impressed by a good packaging, take a look there. All right, we got the bolts. M8, I believe. Looks nice, they sent that. Yeah, check this guy. Looking good already. Man, that was like just really amazing packaging. That thing fit in there like a glove. It's not as heavy, obviously, as a seal lead acid. It's like, I want to say it's 27 pounds off the top of my head. If I'm recalling correctly, maybe it says right here. Yeah, so there you see. Came from Ontario, California. HQST. So this is the inner box. So you have outer box, inner box, lots of styrofoam. Uh, really props to them on the shipping. I, I gotta say, I, I'm like really impressed. I had a gel battery shipped to me a few months back, uh, Prime, and uh, man, not only was it like 60 something pounds, of course, but the box was just so minimal, I was like, really guys? But it made it, it works, it's in my van right now. This one will go in the trailer. Oh yeah. All right, check out that sweet handle. Nice straps. See, I hit the light right there. Okay. Now you can see the top. And this casing looks like a older Renogy case. Obviously they're all just sourcing the parts, cases and whatnot from everybody. So looking good, got little covers on the terminals. Oh, there's extra bolts. Okay, so the bolts that I had in the little baggie are extra, because look at that. All right. So. Just doo -doo 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 -doo. nice. Oh, it even has washers, lock nuts. Okay, cool. Stoked on this. So, all in all, obviously, this is not an in use <laughs> review, but so far, I'm just really stoked. Quality looks solid, case looks great. Man, it's easy to pick up. All right, so as you can see, I just pushed the uh, handle off to the side. You can see the uh, quality of the case there. It looks pretty decent. Not gonna lie. Now it's clean, it's black. Easy to pick up one-handed. All right, I'm stoked. This is gonna be a big upgrade for our trailer. Okay, there you can see the Terminals, bolts are nice and long. It's always something you can appreciate. I'll say they have a washer and a lock nut. All right, this thing's looking great. All right, so there you can see the inner package and there's the outer package. 
So plenty of styrofoam, nice plastic cover. All right, so there is the info as printed on the box. This battery does claim to have a low temperature cutoff, which is one of the reasons I got it instead of some of the other similarly priced options. All right, so I've got it hooked up to the NOCO charger. And the NOCO is showing it being very low. Oh, well, it's picking up. All right, we'll see how this, how long this takes for it to show. All right, so this has been on the uh, three quarters charge now for a bit. So battery was definitely not full when it came. So hope that helps. But overall, I definitely have to say that this battery Looks like it's worth a shot, and I'll give you an update in about a month on how it did on the road, so stay tuned.